Today I'd like to discuss how there are no longer any AMC shares, and how hedge funds can no longer even discover them due to all the synthetics, tokens being deleted. And I will explain how this has resulted in significant increase in the AMC cost to borrow, and how, consequently, shorts are doomed. Therefore, stay connected and let's make some money, and win it over with the essential knowledge immediately. So Peter tweeted, I believe a large number of individuals are missing the connection between digital tokens and borrowing cost, right? When you borrow shares, your broker must certify that he or she can actually locate the securities. Okay, these hedge funds are prohibited from displaying AMC unless their market maker can at least say they can discover accessible AMC shares. Clearly, these market makers have not been able to locate legitimate AMC shares. They have been searching for synthetic tokens, but at least they can claim they are searching. Available AMC shares. Clearly, these market participants do not care. They are searching for synthetic shares. Clearly, the SEC is indifferent to the fact that they are locating phony shares. They are simply suggesting that FDX and Bittrex have a plenty of AMC shares to locate. That suffices. This is how hedge funds have gone away with shorting AMC for so long as well as producing new synthetic AMC shares through EFD in addition to Bittrex. Because, as Peter explains, if an idiotic crypto exchange claims to have 400 million AMC shares, the broker may assert that they are simple to locate. Sanjiv responded by stating that FTX tokens were a crucial means for shorts and lenders to produce and utilize endless synthetics to bring down AMC and GameStop. He stated that this is how they will stop 2021's mother of all short squeezes. Due to the fact that both FTX and Binance listed these AMC and GameStop tokenized securities on January 28, 2021, Bittrex subsequently issued tokenized shares in June of 2021 to squash the second run-up, back in June, at some point. Following this, Binance deleted their tokenized securities because they understood how much they were at risk due to the mother of all short squeezes. But clearly FDX and Bittrex was either unaware of this risk or was convinced by these hedge funds that the mother of all short squeezes would not occur. So they continued to list these tokenized securities. However, as Sanjeev stated, FDX is now bankrupt. This route is closed. As AMC and GameStop regain their footing, the squeeze potential will undoubtedly increase dramatically. We also know that numerous other methods for generating these synthetic shares or generating additional liquidity to satisfy their margin needs have also been eliminated. The last year, or at least the most recent few months, they cannot utilize these totals anymore. As a result of the enormous expose, Archigo's capital management initiated return swaps. They can no longer promote Chinese IPO businesses because these have been suspended. Actually, Peter Han did it. Respond that Bittrex still has digital share tokens available. However, one must ask how long they will last. Today, though Bittrex tweeted, as part of our product line, Bittrex Global offers tokenized securities known as tokens to qualifying consumers. He stated that through our historical ties with Almeida, we ceased operations. As the news of FTC and Almeida's issues broke last week, these products were traded instantly. In order to safeguard our clients, they stated, as in the news since then, we've chosen to totally discontinue this offering, and the 625 million Bittrex AMC tokenized securities are no longer available and have been deleted and discontinued. Thus, a billion AMC synthetics can no longer exist and must be cancelled, possibly within the next few days or weeks. And as the master investor tweeted, this has caused the AMC cost of borrowing to skyrocket. We observe the highest cost of borrowing is now 304%. The cost of our average, which is crucial, is a staggering 302%. In addition, the cost of borrowing is a minimum of 90.2%. This means that on an annual basis, on average, these short sellers are paying for their whole short position three times over in borrowing cost. The added cost associated with their can kicking and their feeds fines. If the shorts have a total short position of $500 billion, Borrowing charges will cost them $1.5 trillion per year. Rose stated that this is the highest maximum or average borrowing cost he has seen in a long time. In fact, I believe this is the highest interest rate I've ever seen. Moreover, this demonstrates how messed up the shorts are currently. 
and how near we actually are to the AMC squeeze. Over the next few weeks, I anticipate that an increasing number of hedge funds and market makers will be unable to locate any type of AMC shares, whether genuine or synthetic. As a result of the increase in the price of stocks, the cost of borrowing will continue to rise. At some time, something will break and one or more hedge funds will no longer be able to pay the exorbitant cost of borrowing and will be forced to liquidate their short positions, end up going bankrupt. Believes the CEO of Binance if an exchange must move substantial quantities of cryptocurrency before or after revealing their wallet addresses, it's an obvious indicator of issues. Stay away. And as stated in the reply, you physically transfer 27 billion Tether tokens from the Binance Tron cold wallet to deposit funds into a wallet that is not included as part of the reserves within 24 hours of the reserves publication. According to his own admission, Binance is no longer secure. This is identical telegraphy, as Sam Bankman Fried did. As a result, I believe a number of shorts have realized how screwed they are and how probable the mother of all short squeezes is. In fact, is. as a result, a number of huge hedge funds and even major banks have closed all or a substantial portion of their positions. Portion. Barclays has terminated 1.16 million workers. In light of the news, Clear Street had also exhausted all 150,000 available options, also visible here. That Bank of America has closed out of a staggering 3.1 million options on AMC, keeping only 50,000. In addition, Goldman Sachs will be closing out 1.8 million options. Additionally, the Bank of Montreal is shutting at 500,000 puts. We observe this is a significant drop in put options on AMC by some of the largest institutions, and by massive we mean massive. Additionally, hedge funds are included. They are obviously aware of how imminent the mother of all short squeezes is and how big of a threat it poses. It is once again time to say this to hash hashtag the profits of doom. Chew on that and go on another weekend or month that's at a new benchmark. Black Panther's success for AMC is unquestionably excellent news and merely demonstrates how flawed the shorts argument actually is. We're witnessing AMC improve as a corporation and the shorts have less and fewer opportunities to truly display AMC and fewer and fewer opportunities to generate to meet their margin liquidity requirements. As a result, the cost of borrowing has skyrocketed to a staggering 300% of their total position on an annual basis. Many of these hedge firms and short sellers are cash-strapped in the best of times and cannot afford to pay three times their entire short position on a recurring basis. On an annual basis, I believe this will result in an influx of short covering even before. The market crash may occur, which would inevitably result in the squeeze. But folks, be sure to let me. What do you think about the comments below? As always, gentlemen, make sure to utilize notification bell since in this manner. You will be notified whenever a new video is captured.